The world of the music conservatory has really started to benefit greatly from Internet 2's pioneering exploration at the intersection and advanced networking and performing arts. Together with your international partners, you have created a global conservatory enabling our students at Curtis Institute of Music access to artists, coaches, mentors around the world. In the past decade, Improving technologies have enabled musicians at a distance to do call in response. Teaching and coaching, composers have been able to join rehearsals with orchestras uh, performing their pieces. As a matter of fact, our own Philadelphia Orchestra hosted a global concert series extending concerts from the Kimmel Center to locations around the world. During my first experiences working with Internet2, uh, this was in 2006, actually, I found latency to be a very uh, difficult hurdle to, to overcome. Our students will benefit greatly from the fact that they will have access to artists from around the world. For all of us at Curtis, working with Magpie, our friends at Magpie here in Philadelphia, and uh, with Internet 2, I think we have an incredible future together. And I think that as at Curtis, we think about the Curtis brand becoming much more global. Uh, our access and our ability to use this technology will certainly help us in a way that we have just really started to, to start to imagine. So we're very excited about that. I would like to introduce to you now Claudio Alocchio, who, as you heard just a few moments ago, is responsible for this technology. Thank you. So they already tell us what LOLA it is. It's low audio and video streaming system. And the reason why we built it was because we had a dream. And the dream happened in 2005, when we first demonstrated that you could do a master class between continents. And in 2007, we started to think, well, maybe it's not so crazy. We can do something about it. So that was what we did. We went around first, made a very quick search what was available before, and we made a number of discoveries. These are all tools which are commonly used to do music lesson rehearsals and master classes. Of course, this is a system which is very demanding. The minimal configuration runs at 100 megabit per second, and it runs in black and white at standard definition. If you want to run it in color like we do it today, we go to a half a gigabit in standard definition. Uh, we can run it at 30 or 60 frames per second because if you play something like, which is a string instrument, you have the bow, and the bow moves fast. 30 frames per second are not enough for the camera to follow the bow, so we run it at 60. And of course, today we run it in stereo two channels, but if you want to reproduce an orchestra, you need at least eight audio channels because an orchestra is big, and the violin is there, and the cellos are there. So you need to see the difference. Latency, you heard about it. This is a, a slide which I, I took from a colleague from University of California, San Diego. He made a circle around Miami Beach, where we were when we made the slide, and tried to identify how far you can go with Lola to play together. There is a comfort limit, which is 25 milliseconds one way. As you can see from Miami Beach, you can go to Washington, Seattle, over there. So you can cover all over the continent. The community is quite big, it's growing quite a lot. And you can see that there is a number of institutions in North America, a number in Europe. It is growing. I, I, I did the last lead line, which is the University of Southern California yesterday, because they just got the note yesterday and so on. What do you need to do? Well, you just need to build your own PC, get the software, and be part of the experiment, and start using the software to do whatever you want. <laughs>